Do these miners have the cleanest lungs? He's the oldest 51-year-old I have ever seen, Brenda. I feel like I'm his caregiver, not his wife. I can barely look at him like he's a man anymore. It hurts to say, but I'm thinking of taking the kids and leaving. My heart broke into a million pieces as I overheard Jenny, my wife, the love of my life, confiding in her best friend how utterly defeated she was because of the weakling husband she was stuck with. The kids dread looking at him and have nightmares every time we come to visit him. They ask me if he's going to die nearly every single day. I can't keep putting them through that. I have to stop being his wife so I can be their mother. Just as I came into consciousness for a minute to hear these things, I slipped back into the void as I heard the machines around me beep continuously. I was praying for death. Little did I know back then that I was seconds away from dying from a heart attack induced by my reoccurring bronchitis. Even though it was the scariest experience of my life, I am thankful for it. I know how crazy it sounds. But you see, that's how I came across an article about the miners with the cleanest lungs. And that's really not something you'd expect, right? How could someone who's burrowed underground for more than 12 hours a day have lungs healthier than any of us? But as crazy and outlandish as it sounds, I found study after study confirming that a certain mineral found in every kitchen cabinet across the U.S. may actually have made their lungs bulletproof. Years later, doctors can only describe it as the best-kept secret under our noses. But best of all, what I'm about to share with you in just five minutes will prove how easy it is to calm inflammation and infections in the respiratory system in a completely safe and non-invasive manner without you shelling out thousands and thousands of dollars on medical bills each year. This recently discovered an inexpensive lung cleaning system can completely transform your life while saving you from embarrassing cough episodes and inhaler dependency. It's cheap and simple and can support your strong lungs no matter how long you've been silently suffering. That's right, no longer will you have to refuse any physical activity because you're scared for your life. The potential of this at-home system is currently being confirmed by a growing number of studies from top international institutions like the Indiana University School of Medicine or Florida State University College of Medicine and world-renowned organizations like the Central Florida Pulmonary Group. It's an evening ritual that you have to do before bed and you can start today for the cost of a couple of pennies. Thanks to it, I succeeded in gaining my youth and vibrancy back. That's right, after months of torturous surgeries and useless treatments, I gained back my dignity and confidence. Don't believe me? Just look how my x-ray came out just one month ago. Doctors were impressed by my progress. So much so that they even asked to see this nifty device I had created while inspired by the miners I had read about. Within 60 days of an at-home therapy, I could already hike up the mountain and go for runs. Listen, if you wake up feeling stuffed up, if you feel your throat is blocked every day, go to the doctor and still have the same recurring health concerns? In the next five minutes, I'll explain how and why your body may have turned against your entire respiratory system. Don't worry, I'm not here to scare you, but it could be your body's way to send you SOS signals. I'm not here to claim the doctors are out to get you, or that there's even a bigger ploy at play here. Being able to breathe through your nose freely, Phlegm-free mornings or doing any physical activity in general should not make you feel out of breath. But if you do feel this way or have any of these symptoms that just won't go away no matter how hard you try, I'm here to tell you that you may have to do your own research on what almost killed me. Severe bacterial infections nested in the crevices of your respiratory system. And here's the kicker. Scientists are now claiming that some throat bacteria can be fed by the same antibiotics meant to kill it. Most medicine is created to offer temporary relief and to clear up the gunk and mucus produced by the bacteria. Essentially, you're just providing a cleaning service for the intruder and not affecting it in any way. Moreover, a lot of bacteria is actually hiding deep enough in your throat and nose that when the doctors try to do a cotton swab test, they never actually reach far enough. And I'll explain in a minute just how terrible that can be for you. Because the pills and antibiotics they prescribe actually feed this bacteria colony, making it stronger and faster acting. 
But what I discovered is a method to support your respiratory system without the use of harsh chemicals or invasive devices. No matter if you're 30, 50, or 70 years old, no matter how long you've been living with frequent complications such as bronchitis, asthma, pneumonia, just imagine no more shortness of breath, no more coughing fits in the mornings, never having to go through a checklist of essentials like inhalers and pills to manage your respiratory issues, and never having to see your spouse or kids around your hospital bed in tears because they have to see you with tubes up your nose or throat to stay alive. Instead, do whatever you want and leave your home without fear. Run and hike with confidence, show the world you're healthy and unafraid, and never ever set foot in a doctor's office ever again. Just like 97,212 other people did. People like Joan C. 57 from Massachusetts. Jeremy, I have to admit, I tried your method out of pure desperation. My coughing got worse and worse, and despite always telling my GP how frustrating it was, and despite a battery of tests and treatments, he could only give me an inhaler and said I am suspected of asthma. I was scared to even leave the house because it would start up at random times. I can't even tell you how many interviews I walked out of because I'd start coughing constantly and had to excuse myself to the interviewer's frustration. I can't believe how fast your solution worked and how easy it was. If only I knew about it sooner. Sarah S. 61 from Springfield, Illinois. I can't thank you enough. My 10-year-old daughter was in constant discomfort and would always run out of breath when outside playing. We've tried your method and now she can live her childhood without a care in the world, as she should. Thank you, Jeremy. Bless you and your family. These are just a couple of the hundreds of messages from people just like you. People who have already used the method I'm about to share. Now, before I give you all the details in the next five minutes, I want you to know who I am and why my dirt cheap discovery shook the medical community to its core while saving thousands of honest Americans the pain and money of going through uncomfortable and painful tests and investigations, biopsies and treatment courses. My name is Jeremy Jackson. I am 52 years old and I live with my wife, Jenny, in a small town next to Charlotte, North Carolina. For over 25 years, I've been a geology professor. Every day I am teaching my students about how this great big rock we all live on operates. I've always been fascinated with rocks and minerals and how people all over the world made the most of their environment. I like to discover how nature coexists with man and how man can oftentimes use his environment for good. You see, despite being a man of science, I am also a man of God. I truly believe that he provides for us all we need and if we have eyes to see it, we can heal ourselves. Science is here to bridge the gap and provide shortcuts. In fact, as you're about to see, had it not been for my teaching job, I wouldn't have come across the Balkan mining community that is now changing the lives of so many people. Until I was 35 years old and moved to a big city for a better paid job, I lived with my wife all around Europe, studying and exploring the mines that the Roman Empire's engineers dug up. Back then, I could hike up to the highest mountains with barely any breaks other than the ones I took to take in the scenery. But as soon as we moved back to the U.S. and started thinking about starting our family, my health started to decline. Well, after the age of 47, not a single day went by without me using my inhaler. Bronchitis was a reoccurring health issue, and I was mostly sick or recovering from what I called episodes before a new one started. Then, things got worse. I had my first heart attack in the middle of class. Imagine how terrifying it was for me when all of a sudden, in the middle of my sentence, in front of over 20 of my students, I grabbed my chest and collapsed on the floor grasping my chest. Next thing I knew, I was in the hospital, my wife in tears holding my hand. I was stunned and couldn't understand why my health was declining so fast. I have done every test in the book and even checked for all autoimmune diseases known to man. Nothing came back positive. Doctors were stunned, scratching their heads in awe because literally nothing made sense. I then started wondering when it all started and how my life during the research stages I did in Europe was different from what I did now. I contacted every doctor I knew 
And through a friend of a friend, I found the man who set me on the right track. Dr. J. Masterson, one of Sweden's leading pneumologists. All of his alkylades can't even compare to this one discovery we worked on together. He told me about the little-known study by researchers at the University of Gothenburg. It appears that there is a very clear connection between respiratory issues and the health of your heart. Dr. Masterson was able to diagnose me within a week, whereas the total cost of my tests and hospital stays in our local hospital cost me over $20,000. Imagine that! All my retirement savings and then some more! It was clear that everything I would be hemorrhaging money we had and money we didn't have but we'd have to get loans for. But all that would be worth it, right? Because eventually, after all this suffering, I would be free, right? Wrong. As you're about to see soon, no matter how good of a professional your doctor is, he's absolutely helpless when it comes to your lung health and lung-induced heart issues. If only I knew back then what I know now. The only thing that makes it all worth it is that you won't have to go through what I went through, spend the money I spent, or endure the horrors I did. I was in the hospital more than I was at home, and even though I had Dr. Masterson's emails and cohort studies of over 30,000 people, doctors in the U.S. simply couldn't or didn't want to listen. After all this ceaseless suffering, what hurt me the most was the fact that my marriage was falling apart. My wife, who for 25 years had melted like butter in my arms, not being able to keep her hands off me, was now distant and cold. Every time I tried to touch or kiss her, she turned her head away, pursing her lips and saying, She's too busy for that. For two years, I've heard this same excuse. After our daughter, Mary, moved from home, my wife chose to sleep in her room. It crushed my soul, and I had never felt so lonely and small in my life. I was no longer a man. I was a cripple in her eyes. No longer the man she fell in love with, but instead the man she had to take care of day and night. I honestly had no idea what turned her away from me like that. I thought she was in love with another man, but the reality was far, far worse. One morning after a night of tossing and turning, and because I was so stressed because of how our relationship was crumbling in front of my eyes, I decided to go to the bathroom and take a shower. Midway through it, I supposed because of the steam and my anxiety, I blacked out. Unlike my first heart attack, I felt nothing this time. No pain, just peace. Next thing I remember was hearing the beep of the machines around me while slowly trying to open my eyes. When I heard Jenny crying, and that's when I heard the love of my life saying the most heartbreaking words. He's the oldest 45-year-old I have ever seen, Brenda. I feel like I'm his caregiver, not his wife. I can barely look at him like he's a man anymore. It hurts to say, but I'm thinking of taking the kids and leaving. Her ruthless words became a mere murmur until her voice faded away completely as I blacked out and apparently flatlined. I did eventually wake up after two days. You're a very lucky man, Mr. Jackson. I understand from your wife you had some documentation and wanted someone to look over it. She begged me to have a look at all the printed studies, which I did. Your friend has a very interesting theory, and I'd like to pursue it further if you'd allow me. That was music to my ears. Because, you see, what I had discovered next was crucial to not only identifying the killer lurking in my body, but also the culprit behind problems such as asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, pneumonia, bronchitis, pleural effusion, and many other breathing diseases. It all starts with these bacteria, which researchers have now found actually feeds on antibiotics instead of dying, as most other bacterias do. Normally, bacteria feed on sugars. However, just as we evolve, so did they. New studies showed that certain strains are becoming so smart that they even thrive on antibiotics. So even though your doctor may prescribe something as strong as penicillin, which back in the day would completely wipe it out, it now grows instead. As the doctor explained, one of my lung infections traveled to the heart. The result? My heart was so busy fending off the dangerous bacteria that it caused what looked like a heart disease. I was so angry that this fact, known by the medical community for years now, wasn't exposed anywhere. We don't hear about this on the news. 
Our GPs never tell us that this may be a risk. And the only reason your symptoms lessen and it appears that it's getting better, it's only because the bacteria are too busy feasting upon the antibiotic and they metabolize it slower than they would normally do with sugar. The infection is just taking a break, not dying. So I decided to spend all my free time in the university library digging through every corner and turning every page of every book I could find on the matter. Meanwhile, I also did a ton of research online, especially since I was lucky enough to have access to a lot of exclusive scientific databases thanks to my profession. For four weeks, I barely ate or slept, my heart racing every time I thought I'd found something. But it seemed like all was in vain. I barely gave up when... I remembered a conversation I had years ago with one of the locals of a small salt mine town in Romania. You see, that's where a really big salt mine opened in the 13th century. Until 40 years ago, the mine was closed off and was not allowing access to just anyone. Since the town was so small and had basically no entertainment areas, people started going down in the mines in the summer because it was cooler down there. Likewise, in the winter, it was much warmer, and during the day, both kids and adults would have social events. That's until one doctor in the area noticed that he almost never saw someone suffering from respiratory problems. Later on, when smoking reached the small town, despite tens of years of smoking, nobody ever had the infamous smoker's lung. That's when it hit me, and I started reading study after study about salt air therapy. One 2007 study published in the journal Pneumologia showed that dry salt inhalers used up to 30 minutes each day, five days per week for three months, showed significantly improved symptoms in patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. The salty air was effectively cleaning their airways like a mop cleans the floor. All those evil bacteria nesting in your throat and lungs just get scrubbed away completely. However, I realized the issue. After losing my entire life savings on medical bills, I could never afford leaving the country and traveling to Romania or any of the deep salt mines in Europe. So I had to think creatively. My idea was, what if I could create something that creates the salt mine effect, but at home? Sure, you can find a lot of online salt purifiers. The only issue being that you have to pay up to $200 for one and the cartridges they use are not strong enough. And usually, they aren't even pure salt. Also, considering you need to have the ability to adjust what you inhale and the intensity, a home system makes the most sense. Otherwise, you'd end up with too weak of an effect and all that work would have been for nothing. Also, you may think that a salt room solution is also ideal, but I can imagine that you wouldn't be able to do it every day when one session can rack up nearly $50. Not to mention it's not as hygienic since you'd share the space with five other people. My mind was blown with so much information and so much hope. I started getting down to business, and with the help of my colleagues, who were more technically inclined than I was, I started tinkering around with the system. After three weeks of work, I had the machine in my hands, building it and figuring out how I could improve it. I was bursting with excitement, so I put it to the test that night, and it started to do wonders after only a couple of days. Here are the things that I started to notice. The coughing and phlegm production went down considerably, and I haven't woken up stuffy as I normally did. You can't even imagine the relief I felt knowing that I finally found the solution to get my life back to normal. My wife and I were more relaxed and started feeling again the joy of being a family without that constant fear that danger is waiting behind the corner. Because we now found the solution and it was laying on my nightstand. Every few days I would notice a new improvement. Whether we're talking about increased pulmonary capacity, more energy, zero heart pain. I felt like a newborn again. It wasn't long until I realized that I had not only a method to protecting my family and providing them a healthy environment, but I could also help other families and people just like myself regain their hope and vigor by sharing what I have discovered. So I decided to do just that. I knew I had to find a way to create a step-by-step -step video guide on how to build your own device. 
A DIY guide that could help anyone breathe in pure salty air in the comfort of their own homes in less than two hours with less than $20. I made sure that we got the right quantities and the most effective combination of salts until we finally created the all-powerful system I called Saline Air Pro. By now, you must be very curious and anxious to find out how it works and why it works so incredibly well. Once you decide to try the Saline Air Pro system, you will get immediate access to the step-by-step -step video guide explaining everything you need to do to build your own system at home, a list of materials and tools, and the instructions for running your device. And remember, this device may help not only your respiratory system, but all the tightly connected issues, such as skin problems, a weak immune system, and even heart problems. With less than a one-time investment of $20, you can build your own salty air system, easy to install and control. Sure, there are plenty of offers online, but the costs are high and you have zero control over what quality salt you put into your body. That's why Saline Air Pro is the best solution for bringing the mine inside your home. And if you still don't believe they're worth it, here are some of the benefits you can expect. Supporting energy and stress levels. Control inflammation of the lower and upper respiratory tract. Sustain a better mood. Manage mucus production in the lungs and throat. Encourage better sleep patterns. Promote better skin and reduced irritations. I know it may seem crazy, but all it takes is saying a maybe to the Saline Air Pro today. I believe in the system I developed and I could have charged more than $200 for this system if I were heartless enough. However, I decided to set the price at only $49 to cover the expenses of keeping the website up and paying the people involved in the development a fair share because I owe them so much. I really believe I would not have been here today to tell you about this incredible discovery were it not for them. Besides, I am willing to take all the risk here with the 60 days money back guarantee I am offering. This means that if you purchase the Saline Air Pro, you have 60 days to decide whether it is worth the price or not. If for any reason whatsoever you decide to return it, I will refund your money ASAP, no questions asked. The price we are currently offering is part of a special awareness campaign we are releasing this month. I urge you to click the Buy Now button below. I'm only saying this because we're considering at least doubling the price in the near future. The way I'm seeing it, you've just hit a crossroad and you need to decide what direction to take. You can either do nothing, ignore my video, and spend your hard-earned money on pills, antibiotics, and treatments I showed you don't work, or you can take matters into your own hands today and in less than 60 minutes put together a $20 system that will save your life. Moreover, the second option at this point is completely risk-free. I, along with 97,212 other red-blooded Americans, saw immediate improvements in our overall health. To make things even better, it's completely non-intrusive and it's safe for the entire family, regardless if you're 10 or 100 years old. The salt particles reach deep into the lungs and support your body in fighting your congestion. This way, you get to inhale more oxygen and feed your organs with better blood flow. Simply by clicking the Buy Now button below and start your health journey today. Oh, and just to show you how serious I am about making this deal impossible to refuse, here is why you simply can't lose anything. This is my no-risk, 100% money-back guarantee. Here's how it works, and here's all you have to do. Just say yes to the Saline Air Pro system right now and use the instructions given inside this step-by-step -step video. Trust me, it's so easy to build that even your 7-year-old could do it even if they have never used a screwdriver in their life. Build your own salt therapy device. Install it wherever you want inside your home and put it to work. And if you decide the results are not the ones you have expected, I'll refund the entire fee back. No questions asked. Just send me an email during the 60 days guarantee and you'll get your money back immediately. However, once you click out of this page, you'll lose access to this method and I'll open the spot for another person willing to try the Saline Air Pro. All you have to do to get started is click the Buy Now button below. 
Enter your credit card information on the next page, and in less than two hours, you will have your own Saline Air Pro device installed in your home. It's time to make a decision, and it's one of the most important ones you've ever made. Click the Buy Now button right now, and I can't wait to receive an email with your success story, too. Thank you. Jeremy Jackson Still here? I want to take a second and answer the most common questions I get about Saline Air Pro. I just want to make sure you feel 100% comfortable with your decision to order today. Number 1. How and why does Saline Air Pro work? Well, the way this works is pretty simple, actually. Recent research shows that most of us are infected with these initially harmless bacteria, which could easily be killed off through saline air inhalations. However, nearly nobody has access to these treatments, which hundreds of years ago were completely normal. Sure, they didn't know that they were healing themselves. It was just a normal social activity. However, now we can recreate the salt mine experience at home with just a few easy tips and a bag of salt. Salt is a known disinfectant in all cultures and around the globe, without exception, and these bacteria can easily die before it even starts building its fortresses in your throat and eventually lungs. Saline Air Pro bridges the gap between the sacred condiment we all use and the curative powers of the system itself that manages to propel the iodine particles far enough to kill the bacteria, which you've been unknowingly feeding this entire time. Number 2. Is Saline Air Pro safe? Saline Air Pro has been designed for all ages and medical conditions. Addressing the root cause of respiratory diseases of all kinds is the most important thing you can do today for long-lasting results now and well into old age. Number 3. When should I use Saline Air Pro? We recommend you use it every night before bed. This way, the iodine particles have enough time by morning to kill off the bacteria. In just a few short weeks, you will notice improved pulmonary capacity, and before long, you will have no problem breathing through your nose and mouth. Number 4. What if it doesn't work for me? Can you tell me about the guarantee again? The more results we see, the stronger we believe Saline Air Pro has the power to completely transform your overall health. As I have shown you, respiratory problems can also generate other issues, such as HBP and heart issues. We recommend that if you have any of these associated issues to keep using the system until you and your doctor consider it safe to come off your other medication as well.